so um so i'm in bali and i just left the sanctuary i was at when i first got here um that was a work away and i stayed there for two weeks and then decided to continue my travels throughout bali um and how to describe that place in words i think it may be, may be impossible it was a time of reflection for sure and also a time of growth and a time of um healing and hurting and expanding and all of the above it was amazing um but i can't lie to you there were some parts um to the sanctuary that i didn't necessarily like but with with situations like that it's really you really learn to just make the most of it and take it for what it is um because there's really not much else you can do at that point so Cars and trucks here are menaces and they must be stopped. And I've literally only been here for less than a day and I know that because they will try to like drive you off the road. They're crazy here. And they're just, everybody's going so fast. I'm like, why are we all in such a hurry? Like, where are we going that we're in such a hurry? Um, and I drive pretty fast too. So it's not even like I'm driving slow. Um, and so I thought I could get ahead of this truck because they were honking at me and being weird and it was pissing me off. You know, because I'm like, I'm driving here. There's no need to be this way. So I tried to go around this truck and then the, I ran out of road. And then I was like, fuck. So I braked really, really hard, really fast. And then obviously when you do that, the scooter kind of like shakes a little bit and then I just couldn't control it and I fell down. Yeah, I still decided to take myself to see the sunset. And I have some my snacks with me and I'm gonna eat them and I'm going to watch the sunset still because that's what I was intending to do anyways I need to go back to the convenience store and get some band-aids probably <clears throat> I've now fallen off my scooter twice, two times, and I've been here for two days. A little bit of bruising like along here, um, but really like I fell mostly on my shoulder, isn't that cute? It's never going to get easier, it's always going to be this way, and I think I'm learning that, that I just can't have these expectations when I get somewhere new, I just really need to allow it to uh show itself to me and also for me to open myself up to it so yeah no more expectations no more pressure we're not doing that anymore and i am safe and i'm healthy and that's all that matters
I had the most amazing insights about myself and also who I am as a person and um, yeah a lot of growth happened and with with true growth I think it's really uncomfortable and it's really painful and it really fucking hurts but um, that's really when I think the biggest change happens so um, I learned a lot I learned a lot and I'm still learning and I, I think I will always be continuing to learn more about myself but I think I hit a point at the sanctuary <laughs> I'm living my life the same way I would be back home, just in another country. And so things don't go away, things don't disappear, and the longer you travel, the more you have to make sure you take care of yourself and are giving yourself alone time and um, just self-care because um, you don't have the reliability and the comfort of a home when you're traveling like this. So it's really important to find that. Whenever that may be, where it will be, I have no idea, right? <laughs>